Hi, my name is David McKissick. I am a horn advocate here at Tim's Music based out of Carmichael, California. Today we're going to be talking about the Edwards X13 raw brass trumpet. Uh, I can tell you from my personal experience, this is one of my favorite horns uh, here at Tim's Music, so you'll definitely want to check this one out if you can. <clears throat> Just to give you a little information about this horn, this has an X bend. Uh, it is a wide body stance, so you know, it's nice and wide, a little wider than your typical trumpet here. Uh, Unipillar. Uh, the uh, 462 large board, so you know, nice full sound. Uh, lightweight bell, you know, I'm holding it with one hand here, no problem. Uh, you know, the uh, caps and stems are beautifully designed here. And the Amato water keys, uh, there's some cool information that I tend to definitely tell you about, about all that. We're going to move into a fun tune here by Nicholas Payton entitled The Backward Step. We're going to start out on that. What? That was Nicholas Payton's The Backward Step. I just want to talk about a cool little feature about this horn that uh, Tim's, here at Tim's Music they put me onto. Uh, <clears throat> so a little while ago I mentioned this interesting thing, a unipillar. What is a unipillar? What does that have to do with the horn? Well, let me show you. It is these, oh wait, I gotta put that down. I don't even need that anymore. It is these wonderful, cool little, uh, <laughs> Two metal guys. There's a copper guy and a stainless steel uh, little buddy here. Let me go ahead and pull them out. And what these do 
here on this wonderful Edwards X13, you're able to attach them to the end of your um, tuning slide here, and that can really change the feel for the musician. For me, uh, being a trumpet player, I can actually hear a slight timbre change, but I'll leave that to interpretation. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, the copper uh, unipillar in. Uh, that uh, I'm gonna put it on the front facing side. You're able to actually choose what direction you want it on. So I'm gonna put it on the front facing side because I feel that gives me more kind of dark, uh, kind of darker sound. And uh, we're gonna play it over a ballad. We'll see what you guys think. play the horn before I put it in. So when I set up to play and felt the difference, it was like ridiculous. <laughs> uh, this next tune is Impressions by John Coltrane.
telling you, each <laughs> unipillar you put in, it's a different horn. You can literally, there's enough space in this little, this little screw area here, uh, you can put them both in. So, but I'm gonna leave that into interpretation. Buy the horn, find out. It's, uh, it's a great horn, it's one of my favorites. Thank you guys.